Now before I work too much further into this painting to kind of finish it off, I need to let this paint dry, but before then let's just pop some areas of shadow in along the parting of the horse's mane. Pop a little more shadow down there. And this left hip, the line of that, needs to clip the bottom of that crescent highlight that I added in a moment ago. It's a bit better. Just putting on a layer of burnt umber, just very thin. And there's a little triangle of copper here so that we have the cast shadow of the tail on the horse's hip. And there's also a nice little highlight there. And a bit of light catching the foreleg. I think I'm going to continue that colour. That seems to be about right. Let's get a little more orange. So titanium white and solarium blue again. Let's uh, add a few more highlights in on the tail. And some up here on the horse's mane. Just a few. And I'm just going to add a highlight in the eye. So using some ultramarine and just a touch of white on the very corner of the brush. Just put a little highlight there in on the eye. So while the paint on the horse is drying, um, and once it's dry I'll work on the final details on the face and perhaps uh, add some glazes to the body, I'm now just going to add a few details to the foreground with some slightly different brush strokes. So I've uh, got some titanium white, I'm using the conventional acrylic again for the flowers, and a little touch of cadmium yellow. And I'm just going to indicate some little flowers on top of these dark areas, catching the light. And then let's have some, some orange flowers as well. A little touch of the white on the edge of the brush. You can see that I'm rotating the brush each time it hits the paper, just so that the mark I make varies in both shape and in terms of where the light is on that mark. And 
and let's mix up a dark green now. So a little ultramarine, touch of cad yellow, a little bit of white in there, just a touch of cadmium red, just to knock it back a little bit. Let's put in some some indication of some stalks in amongst the undergrowth. Touch more burnt umber. Change the colour a little bit over here. Use some of that orange that I used down here mixed with the burnt umber. Let's put a few in there. Have one going over the top of the horse's leg. Let's have a couple of those. There we go. And some here on the back leg as well. Let's go back to a bright green. White, titanium yellow. Sorry, white, cadmium yellow. And a little touch of the ultramarine blue. We can use some of that over here as well. I think we'll introduce some uh, Indian yellow back to the interactive acrylics in this top right hand corner. And I'm going to use that to soften that preliminary, preliminary mark that I made right at the beginning. Ah, you can see we've got a drip. Better wipe his butt quick, so I'm just going to dab that. Okay, tactical error. Oh no, oh no. Okay, drastic action required. You can see that the yellow uh, dripped across the, the horse's butt that I just painted. So I'm taking some clean paper towel and spraying it with water. I'm going to drag that upwards. And then same again. Okay, and that's lifted off a little bit of the work I just did in this area but I've saved most of the painting, so that's good. So I'm just going to dry off the brush I was using to apply that yellow a little bit with another paper towel and then return to what I was doing originally. Let's just blend that colour into the existing yellow background. Yep, I think that's working quite well. I'm just going to mirror that Indian yellow with another patch down here. I don't want the whole background to be the same colour, but um, I 
to quite like the contrast that has been introduced with the Indian yellow. It's adding a certain warmth to the painting, complementing the cooler colours that are present in the, in the horse. Let's just add a few more touches of white to these flowers on the left. And on the horse's face, we just need a little more of this magenta and ultramarine blue mix along here. And on his snout, on his nose. And then I'm going to add some white to that mix, some of the titanium white, just to pick out a couple more highlights on the eyelids. And then using that same brush, adding quite a lot of titanium white. But there's a little bit of that violet colour in there just to knock it back a little bit. He's got this flash of white on his forehead. So I'm going to pop that in. Then ultramarine. a couple of dark hairs of the mane cascading down over the side of his head and then as a result of those there's a cast shadow on his cheek, which helps indicate the shape of the surface that's there. So I need a little more ultramarine in one of the coppery brown mixes that I'd used before. Let's just pop that in. Still a little bit too light. A lot more ultramarine required. Maybe let's have a touch of burnt umber as well. There we go. And let's get more of the ultramarine into that mix and just, just make his uh, mane a little deeper in colour here. And knock back the blue that I put on just a moment ago just in a few areas, just so there's a bit of a variety, a little bit of change of colour as you go from one area of the painting to another. He didn't comb his hair this morning, so there's a few stray hairs on the mane. And they need a little bit of a highlight as well. And 
And let's use that highlight colour to just increase the, the highlight in the eye. It's a little bit dark at the moment. And let's bring his mane forward. 